So I got all the new parts here for the thing. Uh, this old uh, hose here, I can't even blow through it either direction. So I'm 99% I'm sure that's what was holding up why the brake was sticking. So I ordered the new ones. There's two of them, there's one for the other side too. Um, I also, since I was in there, went ahead and just, this was 20 bucks. Um, the other one, one of these little feet were broke off of it, so it wasn't gonna hold the brake shoe in place, so it needed to be replaced. So 20 bucks, I did. I ordered them both. And then this is the new spring that holds the star adjusters in place. One of the tabs had broken off on it, so I need to be able to lock those in place. So I'll get the thing torn apart here again today, finish the brake job on this side, move it over, I got it in the container here. It's up against the wall, pretty much on the other side. Move the thing over, do the other side, so both sides, fronts have new brakes, and then go from there. See the bottom of that was broken there. So, just, it's real easy, just one bolt through the back. And just goes into place. Make sure when I put the shoes on, they go in there, that's it. One, one little bolt. So this was easy, just knocking out the rest of the broken clip and then the little center section. It just gets punched in, so it's got a groove and it's like steel, and you just put a, fold a little punch over the edge and it'll hold it into place, so the new one goes in. And that's what holds these from spinning, the adjusters. Okay, I have that new brake hose on there. Um, I didn't like how tight it got. It was really tight when I turned the wheel all the way to the left. So I thought, well, maybe the two new ones that I ordered, maybe they're, uh, one's a different length or something for one side, but it's not. So I just took that little mount bracket and bent it out this way about an inch. And then now at full tilt to the left, it's not pulling tight like it was. Um, so it's just a little adjustment in that. There was plenty of room in the hard line to let it move just a little bit and it's not gonna interfere with anything. So, but it seemed like it, to me, it was like made like a half inch too short or something, but we got it worked out. Um, just cleaning everything up here with brake clean and getting this ready to go back together. Looking good. Okay, so the driver's side is pretty much so the same. Um, not much left on those. And looks like that's leaking a little bit anyways, we're replacing it. Um, I'm guessing maybe this is the speedometer drive, could be. I'm not really sure. Uh, I could probably follow that line. I bet it goes right to the speedometer, yep. Okay, so this side's all on. Took about 20 minutes, I think. Um, just gonna repack the bearings before I put them on, but everything's there, the new hose is on. Um, super easy, I put never seize on the adjusters, cleaned everything. Looks good. We're loading this in to build up the front of the container where the car's been going in. It's packing it down pretty good. Mostly rocking here. That's a lot better base than what I had before, so getting it more where it's less of a hump to go up in with the thing. Uh, I'm gonna cut out those boards that I have and laying there, but they have to clear those latches, they hang down far, so I'm gonna do that. But the thing's going in and out of there just fine now, a little bit better. I think that was six wheelbarrow fulls of, of dirt and rock. Several people have commented that we're gonna keep getting wash out on the driveway here, but this isn't really wash out, it's wash over. That's actually piled up rock. It's this real fine, like I said, it's almost a pumice texture and it washes up and it's on top of the gravel. It's not really washing the gravel away. The gravel's not getting carried away. Um, so it just kind of washes over. But we do have, we, we dug that drain tile in so we dug the big hole. 
it's under these rocks here and I need to unplug it some more. It's getting plugged up with that stuff there, but we actually have drain tile buried under here, which is right in this area here. And we've kind of made it so it funneled to that area. Just need to work on it some more, but it's not hurting the driveway. It's not affecting it. It's not leaving a big nasty hole or anything. Um, it's just that real fine, I don't know how to describe it, but it's chert, but it's very fine 